Hi guys, welcome back. Um, it's so good to have you here. Uh, this is Rum Sam's and uh, I'm the owner of Rum's Cakes. So yeah, it's good to have you back guys. Hope you had a good week. Um, I know that I've had one. Uh, it's been a fun time with the family and uh, just really just spending time with everyone who really means the most and I think that's what's important in life. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be baking. I hope you continue to follow what I'm doing and enjoy the videos that I continue to produce and uh, as always any comments anything that you'd like to discuss any help or ideas or anything like that continue to uh, discuss with me on the description bar below so yeah hopefully you'll like this video take care today we're going to be celebrating the season of love and as I mentioned last week it's all about chocolate so with that in mind we're going to be baking my chocolate brownies heart shaped for that special someone in your life <laughs> I know it's corny but love can be like that right so you will need some flour soft brown sugar eggs cocoa powder dark chocolate and some unsalted butter For the first step, you need to whisk the eggs until light and fluffy, um, so they'll just whisk on their own. Take the butter, put it into a saucepan and put onto a medium high heat and melt it and then eventually you'll add the chocolate to the mix. Up chocolate to the butter and mix together well until lovely and melted. to the rim uh, and that will do. So I fill the tin with all the mix pretty much to the rim. Don't worry about the little messy sides, it won't stick. Um, so this mix now is ready for the oven. Ensure that your oven is already preheated to 180 degrees C or gas mark 4 depending on the type of oven you use. Um, and, um, and put it in and bake it for about 12 to 18 
take out your brownies once they're cooked and um, put them on a tray and now you're going to need 150 grams of dark chocolate 150 grams of white chocolate and 50 grams extra each of the white and the dark chocolate so we're going to melt the chocolate in the microwave both the dark and the white chocolate uh, just a quick mention if you don't have a microwave you can always um, melt it over a bowl of um, and a saucepan of hot water uh, that's the double boiler method which i'll show in another video but in the meantime melt it for about 10 to 20 second intervals until the mix is completely smooth so take out the bowl from the microwave and uh, continue to stir and uh, put it back every 10 20 seconds until it's actually mixed smooth once it's melted then add the other chocolate the extra 50 grams and keep stirring until the mix is completely combined lovely and smooth it will take a bit of time just be patient with it don't put it back in the microwave at this point the warmth should be enough here to melt the extra chocolate what you're trying to do is just give it a good texture at this point repeat the process with the dark chocolate as well and then we're going to add some red food coloring so you can add about one to two teaspoons um, of the red food colouring until you get your desired shade. Um, with food colouring it's just one of those things, it's trial and error, you just keep going until you get the desired shade as I've got here. That took about two teaspoons, but yeah, just keep on going with it. Then take your brownies, they should be nice and cool now, and dip half of the brownie into the red white chocolate mixture and the camera will pan a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Basically what you're trying to do is get half of the chocolate brownie in the dip or in the mix. And what you would do with the other half is do the same with the dark chocolate. Um, it's important for me to mention that after each dipping, um, put the brownies in the fridge so that they go hard otherwise your fingers will be covered in mix. Um, but yeah, in this case I've drizzled both halves with dark and white chocolate but you can just leave them plain if that's what you want to do or even write your partner's name on them. So these are my heart shaped chocolate brownies. Um, I hope you enjoy them. It'll be something nice to give to your partner, to your loved ones, just to say I love you and just so that they know that you care. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I've really enjoyed teaching them today and uh, hopefully you'll try and make them for yourselves. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that video. Um, it was an absolute pleasure to show you how to make my heart shaped chocolate brownies. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to make some for your partners and your loved ones just to show that you care. Uh, if you do make them, I'd love to see what you do make. Take pictures uh, and send me uh, my Instagram at Brums Cakes uh, using the hashtag Brums Cakes. It'd be great to see them. Uh, and also, if it seems like it's too much work or you just don't have this brownie type to them today, then feel free to get in touch with I'll be able to sort something out for you uh, if you just email me at rumscakes at google.com. Uh, all the information that you need will be in the description bar below. Just give me a shout and uh, we'll put something out for you for this month of February and of course for the time.